Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name, as you, as you just heard, is, um, is Wabu. And um, that is an African name. And I owe my African name to my uh, great-great-grandfather, who, uh, who was born in Africa. And obviously, I never talked to my great-great-grandfather, so I don't know much about him. But um, I have reason to believe that he was a very demotivated employee. In fact, I have the idea that he never went to work for fun. And the reason why I believe that is because my great-great-grandfather was a slave. He was born in Africa, taken on a ship over the Atlantic to the Caribbean, and ended up here in the island of Curaçao. Actually, he arrived somewhere where I'm standing here today. Now, since he was not motivated, since he didn't do his job well, what kind of tools did his manager Huh? What kind of tools did his manager have in order for him to do his job well? Probably not many. So his manager had an idea, and he thought, Let, let's do it this way. I'm, I'm going to offer my employee, if, you, if I might call it this way, I'm going to offer him some money when he does his job well. When he makes more money for me, he makes more money for himself. And if he has enough money, he can buy himself free. So my great-great-grandfather thought, that, that's a good idea. So he worked and he worked and he got a lot of money and he bought himself free. That's why, until this day, I have an African name because of a very successful bonus program. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's morally right, but it worked. Um, now, I worked myself all my life in the financial industry and uh, I was working in the human resources de department and in 2002, I thought to myself, these, these bonuses that I had to pay out, what kind of behavior do you get? You know, how does it work? And it was a very in innocent question in 2002. And then the credit crisis came in 2008, and I was looking into my data, and I thought, you know, there's something wrong here. You know, the way that we incentivize people in the financial industry is wrong. But I didn't know what was wrong. And the answer to, to this question became a very big research project, which unfortunately was the end of my career. <laughs> <laughs> because the story that I'm about to tell you is all but favorable for the financial industry. Um, however, the good news is that it did give me an insight in where we went wrong in the financial industry, and it gives you some lessons learned for the financial industry, but also for other, other industries. Now, um, what I would like to do is I, I did research with, among bankers in the U.S. and Brazil and in India and Europe, and it took me 10 years to really, you know, understand how the system works. And I thought, how can I show you guys in just a few minutes how a bank works? I would like you to, to share a day in, in my life working in a bank. So I thought, how, how can I do this? So I want to do an experiment and show you physically how it works and then explain you where I think that we went wrong. Now, in order to do an experiment, I have to be, uh, the, I would like to take the role as a manager, and I need a few employees. Now, there are a couple of young speakers here today. I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. And there's a young lady over there. Could you please come forward? I'm, I'm the manager. He, we, there are three bankers coming. Give them a warm applause. Okay. I'm the manager here, and you're the bankers. Please stand over here. Um, and I'm going to give you a task. I'm going to ask you something. And if you would be so kind, hold this here. This is baby powder, by the way. <laughs> Please hold your hand like this. Yeah, right hand, whatever right, your hand you're writing with. And put this like this. Could you try this? Yeah, please take it. Can you do that? OK, good. Now, all three of you, please stand in one line over there where the guy is sitting over there. Please stand over there in a line. Yeah, you don't have to, well, he's, he's already practicing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is it possible for the three of you to walk? Otherwise, please, could you guys who are sitting there give him a bit more room? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I'm going to say one, two, three, go. And then you walk as quick as you can to this. The one who's first here wins. OK, I'm going to say one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go.
Fantastic. Good. That was easy. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, I am like a manager. I am not happy with your performance. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not happy with your performance. So we, we're going to do it this way. But if you work harder for me, I'm going to be richer. And I'm a fair manager. So I'm going to give you a bit of the money that I make extra. I'm going to give to you. Now, it's not a coincidence that I've asked the youngest people here available to do this. Because I am offering you this. A hundred US dollar to walk faster. <laughs> it's not fake. And I'm not going to ask it back after this assignment. You have my word. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And if you don't like it, give it to charity, whatever. I've heard many people. I don't mind. So please stand over there again. I am offering a hundred US dollar, and again, I'm not going to ask it back. It's yours. Yeah? Think about what you can do with this money. I'm, I'm going to say one, two, three, go, and then you go. And the one who's first here, gets the money. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Please come here. Please come here. I can hear you thinking that I did this on purpose so I don't have to pay because I'm Dutch. We're going to do it again. <laughs> please go ahead, please. OK, I have a time clock here. OK, so the one that is here first gets the $100 bill. OK, are you ready? I say one, two, three, go. When it's go, you go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> you won. It's yours. Give me, give me a hand. I don't know. Okay. Now, now let's assume that this was a bank. Um, what, what was the story that I was trying to tell you? Um, we, we saw, as I said in the beginning, bonuses worked well. 200 years ago. Why? Because there was a clear trade-off and it was a simple job. But does it work in today's world? Was this a very successful assignment? Well, it depends on how you define success. If you want people to have more quantity, bonuses work very well. So what happened? And there's a clock here. I timed it. In fact, they were walking faster. But there's one big issue, which is there is no downside. As you can see here on the ground, they dropped, they made mistakes. When, when you give people bonuses, the number of risk that they take, it goes up. And if you make mistakes, it's somebody else who's going to clean up the mess. <laughs> Is there anyone in this room that wants to clean up the mess without being paid? <laughs> of course not. Actually, it was, I was in a bank the other day doing, doing a similar workshop. And I said to the bankers, I said, you know, if you do well, you're going to get a hundred bucks. And if you do wrong, you're going to give me a hundred from your own money. You know what the result was? There was no result because nobody wants to participate. <laughs> because they said the only thing that we had in the financial industry, there was an upside. When things go right, you get a bonus. When things go wrong, somebody else picks up the bill. And that is the difference between entrepreneurship and banking, is if you're an entrepreneur, like the one that made this building. You take risks, and if things go wrong, you take responsibility. And when you're in a stock-listed company, you, you take a risk. When things go wrong, it's the shareholder's problem. But if you're in a bank and things go wrong, it's the taxpayer that has to be paid. And I worked in a bank in which we, we bought a, a very big bank in Italy for more than 7 billion euros. Things went wrong, and now it's the taxpayer that has to pay 20 billion euro in order to save my bank. 
And I had people, ex-colleagues of mine, asking myself, why are these people occupying Wall Street? Well, the reason is that if things go right, you're the 1% that gets a bonus. When things go wrong, it's the 99% of society that has to pay the bill. And that's not fair. And that is the issue with, with banking and bonuses, is that one of the mistakes that we made, there's only an upside and there's no downside. The second mistake that we made is the following. Let me just summarize very briefly the, the heart of organizational psychology. What brings people to perform? Well, look at the people that I just had in this um, assignment. I asked them something. What makes them perform? Where does job performance come from? Well, as we've heard today and in many other talks, job performance comes from motivation. And you need people to be motivated. But that's not the whole story. The other part of the story is that people should be able to do something. So in other words, if you want to have quality, like the assignment that I just had was a very complicated one. You, know, you can try it in, in the break, try it yourself. <laughs> no, the money is gone. <laughs> <laughs> but try it. Try, it's not easy. And if you want to have better performance, you should not motivate people because you get more mistakes. You need to have ability. And how do these two interact? It, it is an interaction between motivation and ability, or in other words, job performance is an interaction between the will and the skill. So, and this applies in, in, in banking, this applies in, uh, in non-profit organization, it even applies when you're raising children. If you're motivating people to do things that they cannot do, you get more risk, you get a higher risk of fraud, and you get frustrated people, and that's not good. Now, let me summarize this, this talk briefly, which is, when do bonuses work well? They work well if the job is very simple and the employee is not motivated at all and there's no way to motivate him. Of course, there are not many people these days that work involuntarily, but still there are people that don't like their job and there's no way that you can motivate them. Then bonuses work very well. Then they work. But if you're working in the financial industry where I worked all my life, you need to have will, you need to have motivation, and you need to have skills. And I had ex-colleagues of mine coming to me and said, I have to sell this equity product, but I don't know what it is. Or I have to sell this, this DPM product or CDO or whatever product, but I don't know what it is. And that was the issue. That is where I think we went wrong in the financial industry. And the fact that that still exists today is a disgrace. But let me, let me end on a positive note and say that, that you can learn from the mistakes that we made in the financial industry. And what I would like to give to you, the idea worth sharing is, please do not waste your money on bonuses, but instead invest your money in your employees. I thank you.